What's up, Airbnb Nation? I am Danny. I'm speaking to you from Mumbai, India. I am the night before my checkout today, and this time I'm gonna, for my checkout review, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you day by day and the things that I noticed, day one, day two, day three, day eight, day 12. And, and in that way, you'll, <clears throat> you'll real, uh, I think you'll realize, I think my experience is typical with how most reservations go, you'll realize what things the guests notice and might need at what time, and this is when you can communicate that to the guest. Now, I've said in the past that the experience the guest has in the city will reflect on your space and potentially your review and your hosting. And that's, I think that's just human nature. I think it might even be subconscious, but this is a good example of that where I didn't have a good time in Mumbai. Uh, and so I noticed myself picking out all the negatives. So what? So this review, it's. It's going to be very negative, um, and I think you know that I'm going to give the host a five star review. But I think it's because I had a bad experience here in the city, and I just my, my whole attitude kind of sways negative, and now I'm picturing all the all the decor could be better, things that I might not usually notice too much. It didn't help that it's expensive here. I paid about fifty two dollars a night, and it's actually cheaper than I thought. I thought it was around seventy. This is after a discount the host gave me, but they do even though I stayed for thirty one days they do still add the occupancy tax for some reason. So uh, if that was removed, it wouldn't have been too expensive here, but um, compared to other places I've been in the world, uh, $52 for this, it was, it's, um, it's kind of interesting how I paid, you know, $18 a night for a really, really nice apartment in Colombia, $69 a night uh, for a really crappy apartment in Hong Kong. Uh, $50, $52 a night here. This great location, by the way, really good location um, for India. But uh, we won't get into much to my experience here. What we'll start off with is the days. So day one, I check in. Um, no one came to check me in, but there was a guy waiting for me downstairs and that went smoothly. He checked me in, uh, no English checked me in, left. That was good. The things I noticed right away was there was no hand soap. Um, there was a million switches. I'll show you that in a second. Like literally, there's a million switches everywhere. <laughs> and uh, and then at night, the bed was firm. So I will say that the host was very responsive. Minus one thing, the host was very responsive and took care of all my issues. And there were a few. Uh, the, so the next day or, or a few days later, they brought uh, like an extra padding for the bed and they made it soft that way. That was fantastic. Okay, day two. This is when I noticed the things in the kitchen. So they only had one kitchen knife and it wasn't really a proper knife for cooking. Uh, they, they didn't have a bunch of things, a strainer, pan cover, scissors, uh, wooden spoon, wine glasses, wine opener, can opener. Um, I noticed the, uh, the, the, the pot, they had one pot and one pan. Both of them were lower quality. The, the pot, the handle uh, was really loose. So these are all things so far, and, and as you notice going on, they're all things that are really easily fixable and fixable for the long term as well. Um, so well, I'm going to get into that at the end. I also noticed on day two the showers, uh, cold showers. I took cold showers here. I kind of usually do that anyways, but apparently you could turn the heat on. Uh, I clicked it a couple times and it didn't work. So these are things that are specific to your country that are good to put in the guidebook. Another one is like a washing machine. Those are pretty much always a good idea to put that in the guidebook. Hey, click here and click here. I also noticed on day two after my shower that the quality of the towel was really low. Uh, it looked like it was old or felt like it was old, uh, kind of hard. Also, um, there was no dish towels. And additionally, I get all the time asked how much consumable should I provide? And so it's pretty subjective. I go for more than is needed. I'm providing the guests full experience. They shouldn't have to go to the grocery store unless they use an excessive amount. So here in the kitchen, I used just about one paper towel roll. So, so one roll for one month per guest. On day three, okay, we're at day three. Uh, I, I noticed, so I arrived on a weekend. I noticed uh, when I came back one night after midnight, the gate was closed and the guard was sleeping inside the gate on the ground. So this is something you want to tell your guests about for sure. This was unusual. So I, I woke the gentleman up and he woke up pretty quick and let me in. He recognized me. But um, it's to, hey, guest, after midnight, gate closes, guard will probably be sleeping, just wake him up, uh, he'll let you in. And the next day, actually, um, the guard asked me for money. <laughs> so uh, I gave it to him, but it was a bit awkward. 
uh, to do that. So, okay, day four, the cleaner, the cleaner came daily, every single day. And on day four is when I noticed that she did the same exact things. She wiped down the floor every day. And at that point I told her, I said, hey, you don't need to wipe down the floor again. That's just a waste of time. Uh, I mean, how much dirt could come in just one day? Um, but overall, her whole routine was identical. And she was very nice. Uh, but the point is, if you're going to have a cleaner come every day, well, the house should be spotless. Like, I'll show you around later. There's the, these things up here on top, of the, on top of the picture. There's little shelves above the TV behind the refrigerator. Um, none of this stuff is done. Like, there's no... Every now and then, you should actually move the furniture and clean behind it and skip the... The floors. Um, so, I, as a host, tell if you're going to have a cleaner come every day. That's great. But um, one, I would say, uh, make sure that they're really cleaning your house. And two, I would ask the guests when they, if they care, and when they want the, the cleaner to come. This cleaner always come during lunchtime, which is when I was cooking, and so I was, I kind of felt in her way. Oh, and if you're going to have a cleaner come to the house, you need to provide a safe so the guests can put their valuables in there. That's just to avoid. Um, liability and the guests blaming the host on something. You have to give them that option. On day eight, there was a holiday here on a Thursday called Holy Holly, and the the host, uh, my host, actually reached out to me on on me uh, the messages on Airbnb and said, "Hey, if you want, we're having some bang here. It's a drink that they have on this day. Uh, you can come by." So that was very nice of the host member in Vietnam. The host actually a few days before the big uh, Chinese New Year Tet, they sent me an email saying, hey, "This is what Tet. This this is what Tet is. This is what you can expect, etc., etc., etc." So uh, similar experience there, though the host did message me on the day of, just a few hours before, and at that point I had plans, even though I would have loved to, to meet with them. Oh, excuse me, that was day seven. Day eight is when I started looking for a laundromat. And actually, the laundromats here, I never paid so much. For one, one um, about a pound, a pound and a half of laundry, it's $14 um, US. So it's pretty expensive. Now, it was like the nicest laundromat I've ever been to, but I, it was so expensive. I went to a few and they all kind of charge the same way and they don't do next day delivery. So if you're a host, this is a value add. Um, let the guests know if they're, if they're staying for long term, they're going to have to do the, the laundry anything more than a week. They're probably going to do the laundry. So let them know, uh, I would say right around like day five, say, hey, here's our laundromat recommendation. They have single day turnover, they do pickup, etc. I actually saw on the reviews, one of the reviews the, uh, said there was a laundry service. And at the time I booked it, two months before I came here, I didn't see that. But that would have been, if there was actually a laundry service in this building, I would have taken that up for sure. The desk, I'll show you in a second, it's rounded. And for working, that, that, uh, at least for me, it's, it's very uncomfortable because it, your, your elbows come in. And also the Wi-Fi uh, was good enough, sufficient, but it was in the bedroom, which after this, I'll give you a tour of the place. So I, I'm actually gonna show you the listing online and then I'm gonna show you a tour of the place. But the Wi-Fi is over there. And so it, it, every now and then it would, um, it would go out, but also it, it's a lot weaker here than there. So if you have an option, which um, I look at and they do, uh, so this host decided to put the Wi-Fi, the router next in the bedroom. Um, so they assumed that Get, either they didn't think about it or they assumed the guests would use their internet more so in the bedroom, um, which may be true if there was a desk, but there's no desk up there. Day 10 is when I kind of realized um, I was feeling a little negative about the city and I started being nitpicky. So I realized there's on the balcony, there's like a big old AC unit and a clothes drying rack. Um, and I thought, well, the balcony's small anyways. They might as well, they should get rid of that because I want to experience the whole balcony. See, it's taken up like half of it, really small balcony. And then there's other things, there's like a big uh, something or other gas, old gas um, canister in the kitchen. Uh, and then there's a bunch of stuff in the kitchen drawers. There's a spot on top of the bathroom with a bunch of stuff up there. So if, if I was the host, I would declutter, I would go minimal. Um, and I would remove all of this stuff to give the guest uh, more space. It's, it's uh, just, it's a waste of space, it doesn't need to be there. There's a good amount of space in this Airbnb listing, so it wasn't a huge deal, minus the balconies. On day 15, the water turned off for some reason. Don't know why. Told the host about this. And it turned off actually right in the middle of me cooking dinner and thawing some things. And uh, so I, the host was very responsive. They came over and they couldn't fix it right away, but um, they said it was going to be fixed. So I asked them to bring me uh, bottled water because I had to finish cooking my, my dinner and whatnot and uh, I had to get through the night, etc. And I didn't know how long it would last. So uh, the gentleman who came over, he did do that right away, but. Um, to go a step, uh, it was kind of awkward for me to ask him that. 
um, but I did anyway. So if you're a host, if the water goes out, well, the guest needs drinking water and uh, just water in general, water to brush your teeth, wash your face, etc. So I would say offer that preemptively. And uh, the next the next day, the filtered water also went out. And the next day, the filtered water was still out for some reason. Someone came over and fixed that. Day 18, right around day 18, I asked for a can opener. And this was actually the only thing the host, they responded and said, yeah, we'll bring it to you. Um, but they never did. Other than that, the host was uh, 10 out of 10 on, on the responsiveness and, and following through with their commitments. Day 22, <laughs> I looked at the AC and it was filthy disgusting. If you pay attention to my Instagram, you'll see I have before and after photos. Actually, I'll put some before and after photos right here, right now. It was disgusting, and that's what I'm breathing in. So, and it's very easy to clean, by the way. This is another thing about the cleaner. Why they should do this once a week, so the house is absolute, I mean, a cleaner every day, the house should be absolutely spotless from, from floor to ceiling. Uh, but it was pretty gross. So I cleaned that myself, very easy to do. But host, if you have an AC, make sure your cleaner cleans it, uh, depending on your AC, once a week, once a month. Okay, are you all ready to see the space? First, I'm going to show you the listing on my computer, and then I'm going to show you um, around the space. All right, here is the space. The bedroom um, is nice. The balcony, I was thinking on the balcony, oh, that, that's a nice balcony, it could be, I wonder how big it is. I was hoping for the best, but we'll see in a second that it is not, that the decor is different. The photos are really good. This is what the photo that sold me, to be honest. Um, I could tell it was updated. It is uh, it is updated, but it's it's not all that updated. Um, but it looks nicer in the photos for sure. But this one definitely was the most attractive photo for me. And the bathroom over there to the right, I didn't even notice it, to be honest. And same thing with the, the kitchen, it looks a bit different. Same thing with the bathroom that's coming up. Uh, I actually can't fit in that bathroom. I, I sit on that toilet sideways. So balconies, space, uh, balconies, central bandra, quiet, spacious. I would put two balconies on there. Numbers draw attention. Of course, you'd uh, bullet point this. That would be my recommendation. But overall, you know, it's okay. Listing. Okay, now is time to see the space. Here is the hallway I'm starting with. This here to the left is the front door, and so you come in here, and you see the kitchen. We'll get to that in a second, but we'll. Make our way to the bedroom. So the, the decor in the photos were seemed decent, but at the actual place, it's um, it's just okay. So the, there's there's a balcony off the bedroom here. Uh, it's very small; you can kind of tell. So that is the balcony, and if you all want to see my view. It's just, uh, it kind of looks the same everywhere in India, but it's some buildings, uh, a tree, and some more buildings. Looks like someone's having a party. Okay, back inside. There's the router is what I was saying. Here's what I was talking about on the, this is common. There's like four of them, and, and uh, two of them don't work. At least a few don't work on all, on all of the switches here. That space, that was what I was saying. You could get rid of that and, and put some plants up there or something to increase the appeal of the place, the visual appeal. As you can see, boxes up here. Here's the kitchen. There's that canister thing I was talking about. As always, I'm leaving the host with a lot of, um, uh, well, yeah, vitamin D, fish oil, pepper, garlic, pink Himalayan salt, black salt, sea salt, black beans, pepper, and small purpose seasoning. Um, this is typical, what I uh, usually, some of those things aren't, you know, like vitamin D aren't necessary, but salt, definitely, uh, and some some seasoner, definitely you should be providing that salt and pepper. Uh, I also, plastic bags are a good one, some olive oil, etc. Uh, I already mentioned the knives, there was only one knife, one pot, one pan. Um, I didn't know how to use this when I came here. I had this is one of the things I had to ask them about. I forgot to mention that. So there's a spark. You 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 turn the gas on, and then you you use the spark to light it up. So the spark is not built in. I wasn't familiar with that, and so I had to ask the host about that, and they sent the cleaner back. Uh, and I actually made a video and uploaded it to YouTube. So if you're so um, that would be something that the guest for sure would need to know. The filtered water is here. So here's another thing I'm saying about the decor and whatnot. 
it's kind of dumpy looking. It's it's um, you know it wouldn't cost much to clean that up to and see you can you can clean off this 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 cut this discoloring for sure, and that should be done as part of the housekeeping. Uh, here's the washer. These these always could use some directions. What I was saying in here, just small thing, just things inside of here. Um, I asked for the wine glasses. Let's see what we got. Here's more of the uh, light switches. The bathroom, so bath, uh, bathroom toilet roll, same thing with the, I used about one and a half. So, so you can budget uh, one and a half toilet rolls per month per guest is a good standard, I think. These hooks were fantastic. Every host needs hooks for day bags, hats, uh, other kind of bags, wall, uh, purses, etc. Um, hooks are so easily doable and every host should have some hooks in their room. The bathroom here, the shower, the, the outer heater, I believe. Um, all right, here's more of the uh, different light switches in the living room. Another thing I mentioned, didn't mention with the cleaner is uh, she routinely would turn off some of these switches and some of these switches would be to the AC or to the water filter system or to the internet. Um, and she would, because I think it was just, there was just so many switches or while she was cleaning, she wasn't um, noticing them. But, uh, and there was an English, bar English uh, Hindi barrier, so I couldn't really tell her this and the Google Translate really wasn't working all that well. Here's what I'm saying about the clean. Um, you can see that that's uh, dirty up there. So even these things, this is details. Uh, if the cleaners come in every day, they should clean that up. This uh, TV isn't smart. It really should be. If not, there's an HDMI, so the, uh, provide one of these. This is mine, but a host, you can provide one of these if you don't have a smart TV and don't want to provide one. Uh, directions to the remotes is always a good idea. And uh, here's the computer setup that I just saw. The, the couch, the two pillows, the AC works well. And the last balcony, exactly the same as the other one. There's the AC unit and the, uh, the clothes hanger, but same size, same view, same side of the house. There's the, there's the party house. Okay, and that wraps up my Mumbai, India, 30, 31 days. I'm looking forward to go, I'm really looking forward to going to Dubai and Middle East and Eastern Europe my journeys on um, Optimize My BNB. And um, you can also follow my personal journeys on uh, Instagram. My name is Danny Boo Boo. Let me know what you think of this video. I did a little different this time. Uh, show, me, show me some love with some comments and some subscribes, etc. Happy hosting.